I have made several videos about the menu system on Boofwang radios, such as this Boofwang UV5R, but those videos are all 10 or 20 minutes long, which is much longer than the attention span of the average YouTube viewer. So in this video, I will quickly and effectively go over the basics of the Boofwang menu system in a simple yet efficient manner. And I will do it all without boring you to death like all those other YouTubers. As you can see before me, I have a Boofwang UV5R, the most popular radio ever invented in America. If you have a different model Boofwang, pretty much any other handheld ham radio or GMRS radio, let not your heart be troubled because the menu system on most of these radios is exactly the same or very similar. And not only are the menus mostly the same on all of these radios, the menus are also very simple to use once you actually take the time to learn how they work. So pay attention. To get into the menu system, ensure that your radio is powered on and then simply press the menu button. If when you press the menu button, nothing happens or if it just beeps at you, then that means that the keypad is locked as indicated by this tiny key icon. To unlock the keypad, simply press and hold the pound button, which also has a blue key emoticon on it. Unlock. Now that the radio is unlocked, press the menu button and you will be in menu mode. Menu. Note that if you sit and stare at the screen for too long while you try and figure out what to do next, after several seconds, the radio will realize that you do not know what you are doing and it will exit from the menu system and go back to the regular screen. Should this occur, simply press the menu button again and you'll be taken back into the menu system. Once in the menu system, you can scroll up and down through the different menu options that are available. So scroll through until you find the item that you wish to change and then press the menu button. When you press the menu button, you will see this little icon that was previously at the top go to the bottom. That means that you can now change this menu item. To change an item while it is selected, as indicated by the little upside down triangle, use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the available options. When you find the option that you want to change to, press the menu button again. Be aware that there are a few menu options that require you to enter a number or a frequency on the keypad instead of selecting from a list of options. So in those cases, instead of scrolling through the options, just enter the number and then press the menu button. After pressing the menu button, your change will be saved and the little indicator will go back up to the top so that you can scroll through more menu options. When you are done making changes, just press the exit key or wait a few seconds. Either will take you back to the main radio screen. If while you are making changes to a menu system, you realize you have no idea what you are doing, or if you get confused and disoriented, as long as you did not yet press the menu key again to save your change, you can back out without saving anything by just pressing the exit key. Congratulations, you are now a YouTube certified radio menu expert. <laughs>